Finally, it's six times change, but generally the photos that captured moments in those times, they stay around. Mike Stevens met a man who spent the better part of his life capturing moments in tonight's trip back down the Pennsylvania Road. Ed Miller developed a liking for things that roll on tracks a long time ago. In 1949, he was driving a trolley in Washington and knew then that he had to take pictures of rolling stock, so he did. Thousands of pictures later, some of Ed's images have made it into a new book, Trackside Around Scranton, 1952 to 76. When I talked to Ed at the Anthracite Museum, I found the really interesting thing about his photos is that he captured the things around him, around the tracks. But if you want a streetcar picture on a street, you want to show the territory it serves. So, not only are his photos a collection of rolling stock long gone, but they also show other things that no longer exist. There is a chance to see what life was like in places like Hazleton. And there are those moments in transportation history. That's the last on the Williamsport Division. Okay. Last steam operation between Sunbury and Wilkes-Barre on the Pennsylvania Railroad. The next day, everything was diesel operation, October the 18th, 1953. There are other such moments in this book, moments in a bygone era that, except for museums, we'll never see again. Trackside Around Scranton, a book that'll stir more than a few memories. I'm Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Scranton.